So it turns out it was just the motor, not the flight controller. As far as I know so far, it was just the motor. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, so glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. And today I just wanna let you know that I, basically I swapped the motor out and, uh, and it turns out it was the motor on this quadcopter here, the Budget Basher, and I have a whole build guide and stuff for building this quadcopter, and I was really concerned that the death rolls that I was having was like the flight controller or something integral to the build, but it turns out it was just a motor thing, so basically what I did, just for, so, because I, this was an interesting learning experience, so maybe it will help you as well, so uh, I have a couple videos about kind of the death roll and then some 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 data that I got, some black box data, and then kind of had I put that on the screen. I, I did what a lot of you suggested, which was to swap the motors out because it looked like uh, it looked like the front left motor was going bananas. So what I did uh, was swap out the front left motor to the front right motor. So I switched those, and then the data that I got was that uh, well, it still did the death roll. Oh oh. And then, but what it was showing on the black box recording was that the right motor was now flipping out. So, and because it, it was just like, whoop, it made me so sad in my heart. The good thing, I mean, since I did that, I was like, oh, well, since it moved with the motor, you know, it's the motor, or at least most likely it's the motor. So what I did is uh, I didn't have another spare motor exactly like it. These are the UIS Sam Gook 2400 KV. It's the Woo motor. It's blue. I like it. I like the blue. It's very nice. Uh, but for some reason, that 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 one motor, this motor right here, uh, was just. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. What? Well, ben, maybe we'll talk about that in, in another video. I don't know if I just worked it too hard or if it was just bad or whatever. But so what I did is I uh, got an old Eosheen motor from the Eosheen Wizard X220. This is a 2205, 2300 kV motor, so not quite the same. So. Things do sound kind of weird. Also, well, I guess there's the prop. These are kind of old props, so that's also probably why it sounded weird when it was flying around. But the important thing is, I test flew it with this, and it was flying just fine. And man, let me tell you, it was so good to be flying again. I mean, it just, oh, it was just like freedom, you know? Just, ah, oh, you just flying around and not having to, to just be, you know, all on edge, like, oh. When's the next death spiral going to happen? I don't know. It could be right now. No, it was just like, mmm, flying around. Felt so great. Uh, it just made me so happy. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick. So in case this was happening to you as well, um, it appears to not be the flight controller or the, uh, or the ESC uh, stack or anything like that. At least in my case, your case may be different, but I just want to let you know. So I would definitely try swapping out the motors if this is happening. And um, I'm sure the people that have experienced this thing before, they're like, uh, "Yeah, I told you so." But uh, for me, this was kind of a kind of a first thing figuring this out. So I am glad that I learned this, and hopefully uh, you did too. And I'm just going to leave you with some uh, flight footage because I haven't done that in a while. So enjoy the flight footage, and I'll see you next time.